to create some really nice flowing blends in Illustrator. Now I'm using the blend tool in this case, and I'm using Illustrator CC 2019. The same brush can be used in other versions as well. So you can see the design there. That was just created by the blend tool. Just go to the blend tool, and basically it's just that's just two pass basically, and then a blend all between them, and then modified using the curvature tool. So I'm just creating a couple of uh, paths for this now. I'm just going to create a circle, then another circle. I'm going to change the colour of it, so I'm just going to change the colour there. And you can create all kinds of nice flowing designs just by using the curvature tool combined with the blend tool. So there's another path. Now you can use two paths. You can use three, four, five, six, seven, eight, whatever. Loads, loads and loads of paths. Now once you've actually done that, once you've changed all the colours, what you can do, just go to the curvature tool, at blend tool first and then click on there just click each of the parts so you just click 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 and you've got a lovely design there now you could keep that course perfectly reasonable nice sort of smooth flowing design what you can also do just quickly go on to the curvature tool there and you can just drag that out now you can modify the blend with the blend tool you can also modify the number of steps so if you don't particularly want uh, smooth or number of steps you can change that as well so with the curvature tool, just click on any point in the path. You can just see there, you can move it backwards and forwards and just dragging it out. You can actually see the curve nicely, sort of, sort of create a nice flowing design there. And you can drag that out. You can use the other tools as well. Of course, you can use direct selection, etc. Now, let's go there and just drag there and, and drag there. And again. As you change it, you can see the colour changes a bit there. Just, and click a different point there and just drag that up there and you can continue with that bend it around all over the place you can of course use this with other designs as well don't have to just use obviously uh, circles you can use squares stars uh, as well as type and much more so so you should, let's say click there and once you've actually done that you can actually just move that around you can see the spine all the way around there now that's created by the curvature tool we can go to the blend tool and double click there you can change like say smooth color you can use specified steps now you might it says only 58 you can make that 500 so you can make it much smoother so you see that moment's a bit rough there around certain parts putting it to 500 doesn't make any difference so just there and click ok so you can just see a lovely smooth design and of course once you've actually done that you can you can use the there change color for the individual pass that's using the selection tool for that. Just click there, click OK. Again, direct selection tool. Just select another thing. What you can also do, you can actually modify the shape of the path as well. Not just change the colour, you can move it around. You can see you can drag it around. And obviously all the other paths are untouched. But you can actually just select an individual point there and just drag that out. So you can sort of extend it out. You can of course add additional points to the path as well. You can do that as well. Right. Yeah, just select another one and then just drag that out and distort that a bit, drag that out there and you can see the shape changes quite dramatically. I hope you found this of interest. Thank you much.